What's up, video bloggers? I hope everyone out there is feeling good. Gujon Cho Osta. Yeah. So, you know, this topic has been on my mind for a while, but I just wanted to let it sit and stew so that I can think on other things uh, relating to this topic about indigenous identity. Now, I get a lot of emails from all y'all out there from the indigenous communities of Mexico, Central South America, uh, the Caribbean, you know, and like a lot of them in the past have been like, hey, Kainoa, is it okay if uh, I go to a powwow and dance? Like, sure, you know, it's intertribal, right? And I've also received some emails asking, Kainoa, do you think it's okay if I dance in the powwow in like a dance category, like grass or fancy? I said, sure, why not? And they said, well, what if someone asks me of my, you know, tribal uh, affiliation? I said, well, you just tell them the truth. Tell them that you're Oaxaca or you're Nahuatl or whatever tribal affiliation you belong to. You all belong, you know? The way I see it is that the powwow is a gathering of indigenous life no matter where you come from throughout the globe whether you're Eastern Hemisphere Western Hemisphere below the equator above the equator you know one of the other added benefits of having Mesoamerican Indian culture integrated with North American Aboriginal culture would be the food can you imagine at a powwow okay I mean like we all know fry bread and Indian tacos yeah they're okay but, can you imagine freaking churros at a powwow? Outsell the fry bread bar none. No contest, seriously. And on top of that, as I've been saying for like the longest time, anytime that you bring language, dance, and food together, that's when other cultures start to thrive and they start to um, support each other, yeah? And you know, you got these big four day powwows. It's like, por que? Why? Why four days of just North American Aboriginal dancing? I mean, I know a lot of the uh, Alaska natives have been, you know, bringing their dances and whatnot, but how about Mexican dances? Huh? Why not? Oh my gosh. Could, oh man, there, there would be so much more love, really if we could just get our act together globally. And you know, as of like the last 15 years, like the powwow scene, the powwow circuit has like really exploded and it's become like, it, I don't know, like I've had a really unsavory taste in my tongue for it in the last 10 years. Just because of what it's becoming. And the attitude that a lot of the North American Aboriginals have, it's like they act like they're El Mejor, you know? You know, you know, like nobody else is on their level. Nobody else is on North American Aboriginals level? Ah, oh, fuck that shit. Let me put it to you. Let me set you straight. Let me set you wise to the facts, boys and girls and everyone in between. Take, for example, the Sami people, the beautiful, wonderful, vibrant, peoples of Norway, Sweden, and Denmark, the original inhabitants, okay, before they were named those, those three country names, okay, these people got their game together, okay, just like us, just like all Aboriginal, Indigenous folk, we suffered the same plight, loss of land, loss of culture, loss of language, okay, um, Many of us were killed to the brink of extinction. But the Sami people got together and they worked on what is important to them as a peoples. The Sami people put all of their effort, all of their work into making their nation a viable nation. Not only recognizing themselves, but the countries that they are existing in acknowledge them. How so? Well, let me tell you so much how so. They got back so many of their lands, okay? Of course, not everything because a lot of things, as we all know, have been like cultivated to produce a 20th and 21st century. However, so many of their lands are now reserved for the people. On top of that, 
the Sami people have also worked to get their indigenous language to be taught as a mandatory subject in the schools. Now that's a nation that's got their shit together, okay? How about another uh, example of the fact that American Aboriginals uh, think that they're like the top dog? No, it's just because the power, man. You know what I mean? You know, it's just because of you know how venerated it's become and how how beautiful and everything like that. But so much of our culture has been lost in just you know powwowing. You know what I mean? It's like the powwow culture has become its own thing, and individual uh, tribal knowledge, tribal ways, life ways, and such. You know, ceremonies and rites have been lost because everybody just wants their picture on the magazine. They want their, you know what I mean? Like they want to be spotlighted, you know? And there's there's so much, uh, what's the word? Um, conceit, you know, going around and there's these clicks. I hate that shit, man. Freaking clicks, Aboriginal clicks. Does that make fucking sense? No, it's bullshit, man. It's like I've been saying, like since what two, three years ago, almost. Like when I wrote, when I wrote, like when I did that vlog, the inheritance. It's like we've lost so much of our culture innately within us that we have actually inherited the white culture. The mentality is what it is. It's the mentality of judging people and thinking that we're better than other people. You know. Like, you go to Pawa and, you know, one dude's regalia might not be, like, up to your level of what your uh, self-proclaimed level may be. I mean, you know, it could be his first time dancing, you know? And, you know, he's he's got together a uh, regalia that's, you know, not too eye-appealing. However, it's his first powwow. You should be out there saying, hey, bro, what's up, man? Um, yo, dude, like, is your first time power dance? Yeah, yeah, it's my first time. Well, dude, you know what? Here, here's my number. You know, let's let's hang out. I'd like to help you, you know, your regalias or any or anything you need help with and whatnot, you know? It's all about unity, you know what I mean? So, let me put it to you one more time. Like, over here, again, in the North America Indigenous Peoples, you know, they think that they're top shit and everything like that, but they're not, okay? Let me tell you why. If you were, por qué? Why is it that the indigenous peoples of Mexico, Central and South America, had more complex communities and dwellings? Look at the Mashika, look at the Aztec, the Olmec, you know, making these huge communities out of stone. Meanwhile, we're in our very uh, primitive uh, shacks and uh, wiki ups, you know? Yeah, I'm calling it primitive. It is. Compared to what is in Mexico, it's wicked primitive. So all my peoples down in Mexico, Central South America, I don't want you all feeling that you're inferior in any way to the Aboriginals here. None of us should feel inferior to anyone else. And that's dissension, man. You know, down in Mexico, they had a far more advanced uh, concept of time, of mathematics of the lunar calendar you know a friend of mine back in Massachusetts told me you know the Nimbucks have been trying to get federal recognition for such a long time he said that they've had state recognition however the federal recognition was not being observed it was not being acknowledged because there is so much warring and, and bickering going on between uh, the bands, you know, the, what was it, the, the band in Southbridge and the band in Grafton and the band in uh, Connecticut. It's like, see, look, y'all can't just get your heads together and work for the common goal of the people's no, because there's too much freaking ego brought into the equation. Yeah, yeah, it frustrates me. It also frustrates me. Why the hell would you give a flying fuck what the hell the government thinks of who you are? You know who the hell you are. Why do you need somebody else to tell you who the hell you are? 
Do you think that Michael Phelps needs other people to tell him that he is like the world record champion and world record holder of gold medals for swimming in the Olympics? Nah, he knows it. Why the hell do we need other people to confirm it for us? It's like we need a little pat on the head. Oh, good boy. Yeah, you know what you're doing. Yeah, yes, you do. So my peoples down in Mexico, Central South America, Cuba, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Bahamas, Sami people, the, the, the indigenous peoples of Australia, of New Zealand, Papua New Guinea. Do you think the dancers from Papua New Guinea who are on National Geographic are like watching TV going, yo, 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 look, the cameraman was really focused on me, man. It, you know, it, this one was all about me. No, no. Because they're not dancing to be on television. They would rather be just left the hell alone. Just like all of, all of our native peoples who um, have yet to be quote unquote discovered down in the basin of the Amazon. Just leave us alone. Leave it alone. Yeah, no. They're not all trying to be like, you know, yeah, I'm, you know, grand champion dancer, and you know, um, all eyes on me kind of stuff like that. That's one of the main reasons why I stopped power dancing is because of that atmosphere. I don't like it. I don't see being indigenous as a status. Being a, being a human being is a status? No, man. <laughs> Do you understand how silly that is? It's like, oh, being a human being is a status, you know? And that's how racism starts, man. That's how segregation starts, you know? Dissension. One group thinking that they should be granted more or better things than another nation. That's how everything goes down the shithole, babies. And I also have a couple of friends who told me of their exploits, of what happened to them. They work for a place, uh, it's like a Native American uh, museum-ish kind of a place. And both of these people are dancers. And they were actually scheduled to go to New York City for eh, two and a half days uh, to perform. But the day after they were leaving, they were told that they're not gonna be part of the performance. Why? Because they don't look that native to you. They don't look your kind of native, or maybe they're too old, huh? Maybe they're over 40 years old. Maybe that's not cool with you. On top of the fact, there's so much motherfucking nepotism. It makes me sick. This is what we're doing to our people. Yeah, we're doing it to ourselves. It's like I said many, many fucking years ago. I said nobody fucking hurts natives like natives. Okay? Nobody tries to dupe natives but ourselves. Okay? You know, it's like uh, they were told that... Uh, they couldn't fit it in the budget or some other kind of bullshit excuse when they were in the budget. But what happened was one of these pretty boy dancers girlfriends said, oh, I want to come along too and dance. So what happened was, you know, there's nepotism going on. She hasn't been participating in any of the dance practices when the two, when two of my friends have been, okay? Especially one of my friends who she puts her heart and soul into making her regalias, into dancing, into showing up to practices and whatnot. But no, it's because she's not a size two. It's because she isn't 20 years old. You know? It's like, dude, we're killing ourselves. We're killing ourselves. If you can't see beyond the flesh and bone and complexion, we're fucked as a peoples. And that's why I said, we're not gonna move forward if we can't freaking look outside of our freaking skin tone, look outside of of, of our inexperience. You're supposed to be taking those people and say, yo man, come here, I'ma teach you, I'ma teach you. It's like me and my boy Alex, you know what I mean? He was on the road, man. 
I, I tell you, like, man, I miss my boy Alex, man. I miss vlogging with him. I miss just hanging out with the dude, chatting with him, going to uh, D'Angelo's and getting a good sub. But, you know, it's a thing with me and Alex was that, you know, when I saw him, like, I knew this kid, okay? It's like, somehow, like, I knew him, and, like, I knew he had good intentions, and, like, I know that he has heart, and he's got spirit, and all he wants to do is teach, and he wants to be someone who can teach others in his community. He wants, you know what I mean? And that's what you're supposed to do. We all lead by example, right? Well, we're supposed to follow by the example, so that way we lead by example. So why aren't we gonna get our shit together, natives? Because we're so fucking selfish. We care only about us. You know, so many times I hear, man, imagine if we had to act together before Columbus came here, how better equipped we would be to fighting one enemy instead of each other. Well, just think of it this way. Nobody knew Columbus was coming, okay? It's the same thing like, Right now, we don't know that there is a greater enemy coming. We've gotten soft. We've allowed ourselves to get comfortable because we think, well, you know, in this modern age, nobody is going to try and take us over. Uh, complacent? Much? Yeah, buddy. So in that sense, if we got our act together, we'd be better equipped to help ourselves and then to help others, yeah? That's what I'm thinking, that's what I'm saying, that's what I'm feeling, that's what's happening. I think we just gotta get our shit together, seriously. Lose the ego, man, seriously. You are you, but you're not here for you. You're not here on this planet for you. You're on this planet for everybody else. And it's a shame that more natives don't know that and they don't adhere it, they don't apply it to their lives. That we're here for others. We are part of a community. We're not here to just see a little power so we can be on Ben Mara's fucking calendar, yeah? That's all I got to say. I think I've ranted enough and yelled and, you know? So I thank you all so very much for watching and continue to support the vlog. Uh, all the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscriptions, the interactions. Mwah! Thank you all so very much. And for the Patreon pledges. I greatly appreciate it so very much. If you guys want to hit me up um, so we can speak one on one uh, and like in a quicker manner than just email, hit me up on Tumblr. If you don't have a Tumblr account, that's the only thing I'm doing right now. Okay, so take care, much love. Till I see you all again. Dona Dago Hai. Peace, Kunana Mush, Bebes. Be good.